time. And, and, and there was no problem with corrupt politicians back in the day because people were still living good. Yeah. Yeah. They have a problem yeah, with it. Squeeze is happening. Yeah. Now, now you're feeling the pressure. Yeah. Now you're unhappy with your rulers. You know? Now you're blaming uh, the Northern Kingdom. Oh, they're coming over here. They're stealing our jobs. Yeah. You're, you're blaming Jake. Yeah. You're just pointing the finger. Uh, 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 any little, uh, I don't know, ticky, I don't want to say ticky tack, but you know, any little instance now that's a bother to But you didn't care before. Yeah. You care that his car is selling uh, organs on the right. You care. Now you care. Oh, they got fresh or fruits. Stop the business over at home. Shut up. Like, like they're they competing against them. Thank That's you. That's still a corporation versus a little man, man. Thank you. You know? Yeah. Yep. Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in the yep. evil matter. They commune of lame snares privately. They say, who, sh who shall see them? Hey, right. that's the, if I may, uh, that was so cold when, when the Illuminati was a secret thing. It was a secret society, as they used to call it. You know, they had a, a skull and bones and all them other uh, uh, names of those uh, big time uh, um, witchcraft groups. I'm gonna just call it what it is. Okay, particularly uh, of, of Edomites of the same family line. Masons. The you know, Masons and all of that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Now, they had a secret agenda that they didn't tell nobody about. Hey, and they're trying to go after Ali Jones with some of that information that uh, Aaron Russo gave me. You know, mm -hmm. so they're, they're and it's not just about the Sandy Hook thing. It's about all of them. Why are you blabbing? Now these motherfuckers waking up and shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie, he said that right at the time we was waking up when he, when he went on Alex Jones. Oh, Ale so, Aaron yeah, Russo. Aaron Russo was on Alex Jones. So seven, oh eight, oh six up in there when it came out. Okay, so a lot of a lot of us woke up seeing that and then start putting the pieces together and it was lining right up. Anyway, the bigger point was the brother was talking about the leadership I ain't here to, 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 to aid the people no more. Okay? Now I had a, I had a quick uh, Proverbs 29 2. When the right he was saying, uh, and the brother was saying too, when, when everything was going good, they had prosperity, they didn't care if anybody was stealing money off the top or, you know, skimming money. But now that everybody's in a struggle, because they gotta have this great reset uh, thing going on, you know. They gotta put make all the people uh, dependent on, on the corporations and the government, so they can make you take that digital all. Okay. It says uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. And that's why we're seeing these uproars. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it, hey, just like the, the scripture says. Um, Hey, as is the king, so is the like as is the ruler, so is the people, man. Hey, if you're if your king or your ruler is unstable, you know, if he's demonic, you know, or is ruling with a bunch of uh, evil spirits, hey, then the, the people are gonna be under that same vibration, man. We're watching a bunch of Biden back in there, people that just just walk around with Alzheimer's, don't remember shit. Yeah. Don't remember that was a fucking hurricane that just ran through. The southeast, right. the most expensive one in here. Where is that money to repair that going to come from? Yeah. And, and, and it, is it a coincidence that that was one of the states talking shit? Yeah. You know, but you people are quick to forget and just right back to sleep. You wake up for twenty minutes and then somebody say some shit, and then you fall right back to sleep when it, when, it, when it really matters. And that's why the Lord is going to make you remember forever, man. Hey, because the hell that, that's why, can we grab that in um, the book of Sirach? That says, uh, uh, our, make it the, uh, oh, yeah, our yeah. affliction. Let me check. Let's try here. Uh, Sirach. And also saying, uh, so, uh, Second Ezra is that they would not be mindful of the scourges. You know, you get hit with, you know, all these different type of crises, all these different, um, catastrophic events, and, you know, you'll humble down just for that brief moment, but then, once you get back comfortable, or think that you're back in yeah. your comfort zone, you're back to sleep. Right. They you know? think they think it's normal. Yeah. Like always, oh, always hurricanes. It's always earthquakes it's and always these. Famine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read that for you. Let me go right, right, go right. Uh, Second Exodus chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine. In great death, the beginning, this is another prophecy, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, 
the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute, but for all these they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Kind. It's a, uh, that's why the scripture also in the book of Isaiah, the, the first chapter, I think the third verse, it says, why should you be stricken anymore? Yeah. When you go into that word stricken, it means to be judged or beaten. It says, for you will revolt more and more. So it don't matter how many plagues come upon these people, it's just they get more and more rebellious, man. And they get more and more evil, you know? It's like, hey, with us, in the, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and when we get um, um, judged or when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gets us, you know, we see it as correction. We see, chastise. okay, we have to tighten up. We get chastised. When we get chastised, we, we tighten up. You know, we change what we do, we repent. But to these people, they're the complete opposite. When they get beat, they just go harder, man. Hey, is it, uh, what's the one that he, uh, he snatched his shoulder? Oh, yeah. Like Pull away. I ain't talking about it. Yeah. yeah. When Jake snatched away, like they still won't be corrected. You can't control their father. And they forget that they, they're not fighting against man. You know? Yeah. You, you, you can't win this. You can't win this war. You can't win this battle, man. As you always say, uh, their arms are too small or too short to box the most high, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're fighting against the, the king of the universe. And he's gonna he's going to eliminate you, yeah. or as you say, bro, uh, instant cremate you, man. Yeah, I got I got a precept back that up. Jeremiah five and three, is talking about our people. O Yahweh, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Yeah. Thou has them and whoop their ass, but they ain't they ain't repenting. Like if, if Jake ever get a whooping, they be like, now, now um, and your, your parent will whoop you with each lashing. They telling you what you did wrong, like beating it out of you kind of deal. Yep. That's how the most I do our people, but our people don't want to, on that, on, they on that uh, uh, Kuta Kente, Toby deal. What's your name? Like, go back to who you're supposed to be. I mean, I'm turning flipping what happened in the movie, but just saying they won't get corrected by the ass whooping, man. They just keep getting stricken more and more. That's a lot of the times that's the case, you know. Uh, you'll have a few sons, you'll whoop a few of them, You'll whoop them all, and a few of them will get corrected, you know, a few of them do get it. And then you have that one demon, you know? <laughs> just, yeah, just, just you have hard one headed, demon who, who does, who can't, who, who just can't get just it. Can't get right. Just yeah. can't get right, man. And so, you sooner or later, you just have to let him go, you know? And and, and, he, and that's just what's gonna happen. That's, how, that's what, what's been happening. Twice. After the leg versus the two you know? just, yeah. They just have to, Get destroyed, man, and learn the, the only, hard way. The only remedy is this, yeah. death by pain. That's, yeah. that's just the bottom line. But they have not grieved, thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. They refuse to return, man. And they're gonna revolt more and more. Jake, Jake, really, Jake doesn't want the truth, man. They don't want to change their, hey, that's why we go into the book of John 3. It says, for they will, uh, will not come into the light, man. At least their deeds be reproved. Jake don't want to change because they're comfortable here. Not understanding that this place hey, is only going to be a, a grave for you, man. Jake yeah. thinks they know everything. Yeah, you can't tell a nigga nothing, man. He knows everything but knows nothing. Yeah. You know, that's how that's how Jake moves. Was it more on that right there? Uh, yeah, it is a little more. Nice. Back in the second address. Uh, 16 verse 21 and you're saying uh, as soon as they get back comfortable right 21 it says behold vittles shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case even then shall evils grow upon earth war famine and great confusion okay. and that's you know that's when this economy is totally done man yeah you know you're gonna see uh crime fucking skyrocket man you know, yeah. you're gonna see people killing each other in the streets. You know, dead bodies lying in the streets. Yeah. You know, fight skirmishes. You know, sedition among men. Men going against their government. It's gonna be all hell out here. You know, he's all gonna push his uh, new world order, martial law troops, robots, and all that kind of shit. Order out of chaos. Yeah. Hey, everything you know, be chaotic. Over, there, over in, uh, I think it's Poland. Over there in Poland. They gotta burn trash just to keep warm. And then it ain't even really winter yet. It ain't yeah. even winter yet, but they already like, they starting early. They're, pre they're, they're yeah. pretty much 
rehearsing early yeah, before the, 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 the winter finally comes in <laughs> because they're not going to have any energy or power to keep yeah. warm at, at, at night in the winter. Yeah. So they're going through that over there. Over here, you still got your, your, mm -hmm. your, your electricity. You still yeah. got your heat. You still got your gas. That's, that's going to grow that hostility of these European nations against America. Against the West. Yeah, yeah. against America. You know, out there, they, uh, just wasting hot water and shit. Just, you know. Yeah. Just, just up there in a the t-shirt in the wintertime at home. And running up. They even said, there's an article that said recently that there will be um, a 30% increase on your energy bill come this winter. And that's in America. And Jake is living so decadently in this, in this place. But they just gonna turn it up the same anyway. That's almost double. Yeah, it's almost double. Yeah. That's a third point. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and it's, it's, it's beautiful how you see the, the difference between the mind states of the people. Because everyone is on social media these days, right? Mm -hmm. You go on social media, and we just seen the video of uh, the girl that was filming in the street. Yeah. Hey, while she's filming, a uh, fucking missile hits, man. Yeah, and then you look at American. Well, Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. But you look at American media, and y'all just partying, man. Yeah. It's like y'all scroll Stupid and see this. Challenges. And then you're like, oh yeah. shit, like, it was just a missile. They, they just, they're just carefree over there. I want to go to America. Bro. Not knowing this place is destined to be destroyed. <laughs> see, it's, it's, it's beautiful because your prophecy is dead on when it says thou that are given to pleasure and, and, and dwell carelessly, right? Mm -hmm. These other countries, they know war is going to start kicking over. Right. And they know that uh, Putin is not bluffing. When, when he talks about uh, the use of, of, of um, nu nuclear weapons, they know that he ain't, he's not playing around. God. All right? And you got like a lot of embassies in, the, in those regions over there that are... They're, Back at home, they're calling for their people that's in those lands yeah. to evacuate. Yeah. Get, get the hell out of there. Uh, the shit is about to die, pop. Come down yeah. home. You got but over here in America, you think, well, shit, everything is popping off all over the rest of the world. But over but here in America, here we, they yeah. still partying and throwing footballs right. around, dunking, Living the partying, dream, right. yeah. tossing, tossing it up, Jordan Poole and, and, uh, all this stuff, right? <laughs> Right. Back to back uh, NFL games, uh, boxing matches. This is man, it's, it's on and popping over there. They ain't going through too much adversity. Yeah, well, hey, the, the scripture saying Jeremiah, you nations that are over here, you you might want to uh, uh, you you want to flee. You might want to flee uh, Babylon, but she is. Hey, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Let everybody forsake her and and, and flee out of out of out of her, for her her iniquity have reached the heavens. So really. The spirit that they're in to tell the people in Ukraine and them embassies in that area to, to get the hell out, evacuate. Well, you nations, if you smart, you want to evacuate America right now. Right. Because what that's leading to over there with the Ukraine situation, it's going to escalate to a war that's that, that's going to come to the, uh, the point of no return. Yeah. And it's going to end with this place getting completely desolate, wiped out. All right? Wiped out clean. That's prophecy, man. This is the age. Hey, if you if you smart, <laughs> evacuate America, man. Right. Us, we ain't got nothing to worry about. The Lord's gonna come and deliver His elect. Yeah. All we right. We got faith to stay. Kind. Kind. Yeah, we, we ain't gonna need no fucking passports. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, no uh, air, airline ticket, airplane ticket. Yep. You know, no no cruise ticket. Take a boat. Nah, man. No. The Lord gonna uh, He's gonna deliver His in the most immaculate way, man. That's right. It's ever been. Uh, it's going to be a miraculous uh, deliverance, man. Hey, because they're going to think. Hey, that's why Wisdom of Solomon Bar says what it says. You know? Hey, any of these men, and we, um, whom we have in derision, you know, a uh, proverb of reproach, these are the ones being being delivered to them. These are the men that uh, are being delivered out of this place. Hey, it's, it's going to be the, the greatest testament Hey, or it's like another great testament to for the Lord to uh, showcase His power. Yeah, because we're we're seen as insignificant in this place. We're, we're the lowliest, you know. While everybody's on the high horse, we we decided to take the humble route, you know, the lowly. Okay, and 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 we decided, you know, we we to suffer, suffer patiently, you know, for for doing the right thing. God. Trying to please the Lord, God, and it's, you know? a, it's a beautiful balance too. Because, hey, in a, in a place as proud as this, 
the, the people are only going to exude that type of uh, energy, man. You know, here in 